Hi guys, I go by Ghost Boy Ghoul. Uh, I'm a content creator of sorts on Twitch, and uh, I play a lot of Final Fantasy Ever Crisis. I uh, haven't stopped since the day it came out pretty well. We're gonna go be going through uh, the current event right now. Uh, as you can see, I'm level player level 57 here. Um, I am a light spender. I'm not a whale or anything, but uh, I like to throw some money towards uh, things I enjoy, right? And I really enjoy this, so I, I don't mind at all. Now, I just want to start by showing you I am uh, rank 22 right now. I haven't touched this today, but um, last night I made it to rank 18. So we are uh, trying to stay in the top 100 here, and I'm constantly strategizing, trying to trial and error this to the best of my ability and find the best route possible. So we're going to go straight into the very hard one, and uh, I'm just going to show you the route that I've been doing. Now, I, I, since my high score, I actually did change one piece of equipment here. And uh, I'll go through my team really quick here. Um, okay, so for Lucia here, I pretty well use the Pulse Gun, even though I don't really use Aroga uh, all at all. I just use it for the stats, because if I was to change anything else... I guess her magic attack goes up here, but you really want the physical attack. You're trying to build her physical attack as high as you could possibly make it. So out of my weapons, which I have uh, a lot of them, um, <clears throat> Pulse Gun's going to be the best for that. Now, as for everything else, um, <clears throat> I went with Queen's Shot instead of Cerulean Raven because it, hit, it hits harder. Um, you don't really need to lower their attack that much if you're going to kill them fast enough. You're trying to DPS all the units as quick as you possibly can, so you want to hit as hard as you can. Um, circle, okay. I want to ruin or blows on all three characters, even though my other two characters are magic users in this in this party here. Um, and the reason being is Bahamas. If you hit him with a ruin raw magic, it'll build his meter and he'll flare back at you with a pretty large hit that could potentially wipe out your whole party depending on when you choose to fight Bahamas. So uh, I actually went with uh, Ruin or Blows on everybody regardless of the uh, the, stat, the stat gives. Um, fire and Ice is uh, part of this dungeon's weaknesses so you, re you really want to stack on a lot of Ice, a little bit of Fire if you can. Um, Sephiroth, uh, I got the new Garb that brings his Ice potential way up. Um, uh, I, I had to get one more of these to bring it to Aerial Frostblade Plus. Uh, same with Lucia to get that extra buff out of the uh, out of this. <clears throat> um, you don't necessarily need all this stuff. It's just um, it's just good. Uh, let's see here, Frenzy. Um, now the Frenzy is what I'm trying now. I actually haven't done this. I was putting his Fire Sword on him for here, for uh, the enemies that were weak to fire, especially the three soldiers that shoot Blazaga uh, at you, they're weak to fire, and this would hit them all, but instead I'm stacking on Aerith for the substats, um, who's fire potential, and she's going to be my main fire user here. Alright, now, let's see here. Uh, fire Breach, I, I put Fire Breach on him instead of uh, a fire, I think he can just kind of use his other moves and if there is anything weak to fire, we're going to breathe through those ones pretty quick. And it's really going to be the enemies that are more weak to ice that are going to be difficult to deal with. Um, so we got Circle. He's never even going to use this. This is just my material with the highest um, magic attack stat. Uh, funny enough, because it's a physical quick arrow blow. But what are you going to do, right? So, like, if I was to change it to anything else, uh, his magic attack is going down. So. Alright. So let's see here. Aerith? Okay, she's going to be my main fire user here, but she does have a Blizzard too. That's going to be necessary because almost all the enemies are weak to uh, Blizzard here except for two bosses. Um, going to circle. This this uh, Nightbloom is really good with Sephiroth because... Because <clears throat> it lowers... Uh, both defenses, physical and magic defense. So it's going to be great uh, with both Lucia and Sephiroth for anything that's going to be affected by it. I don't think the Hamath is affected by it, unfortunately. Um, doesn't get the debuffs going. Uh, I was using this uh, on her quite a bit. Um, 
wait, yeah, the, wait, the silver mana ward? Yes, it was this, um, because, let me see here, heal up 20, whereas, like, even the fairy tale level 90 over boosted, I think it gives, uh, over boosted twice, I think it gives heal up 17, so, I mean, this is just amazing, and it's not even at 80 yet, which at 80, I think, uh, Limit break potential will go up by six, and that kind of that can work with anybody at least a little bit. So that's nice. But uh, I'm trying to DPS quicker than having to heal. So, anyways, okay. I think I spent a little too too much time on uh, on that stuff there. Well, actually, sub equipment derp. All right, we'll just go over this real quick. She's my main fire user, so she's getting fire from this and this magic attack. Some uh, more magic attack along with physical, um, which will go. She will actually put to use with her ruin or blows because uh, I put blows on everybody. So a little physical doesn't hurt, anyways. Uh, magic defense and magic ability potential. Uh, so weapons are great here. Uh, let's see. And then she's all physical. Like I said earlier, you're going to want to stack as much physical attack as you possibly can on her. So clouds, uh, Marisume. Um, Tifa's gloves here, what are they called again? Motor drive, they're really good uh, for physical attack. And uh, Barrett's Debbie machine, or war machine. Uh, Alright, as I like to call it at least. Um, Sephiroth, as much magic attack as you can, but you also don't want him to die. Uh, so I threw a little defense on him, I suppose. I might be able to remove that for something else. Hmm. Uh, I feel like I probably have been through this already and just decided that that was his best option. Uh, he's not going to need ice resistance, but then again, maybe... Hmm. Maybe that will help. Uh, let's see here. Anyways, um, I think that, that that'll actually give him a little more attack up here. Uh, which one? This one? little more attack and some ice resistance there are some ice moves actually just from the those three uh, ice soldiers we're gonna try that on them actually so I, I am changing things up a little bit here um, from the time I got my high score uh, but we're gonna see if we can beat the high score and that's the whole point of trial and error and trying things out here so hopefully I get great scores again and uh, that this video is even worth making um, okay <coughs> Here we go. Okay, we're gonna come up here. We're gonna grab all the items, but we're gonna try not to use either any or very few. Um, I think my highest score I got was an itemless run. So, uh, I did take the dragon route. There's Reno, uh, that's a boss that I haven't necessarily beaten yet on this route, and I think if I can strategize a way to beat him, I can actually improve my score, maybe even get into top 10, because I feel like not many people are going the Reno route. It is pretty tough, and uh, I think you have to strategize and be very smart about uh, what you do to go that route, and you probably, um, most people will probably have to use some items as well to up your attack for that. Now this guy, I can take up pretty quick, but keep in mind he doesn't, uh, no debuffs affect him. So you can't throw any breaches or night bloom on him, it's not, it's not gonna matter. You just want to try to DPS him as quick as you possibly can. I'm not even going to throw the Frenzy Stance in, because we want to kill him even quicker than having to use that. Um, her Blizzard Blows are really help. Uh, I have killed this guy before without having to take that hit that I just took. Uh, so hopefully that's not going to detriment my score too much. But I don't think it should be too bad. Alright. Uh, here is, uh, I was doing this route probably the first 10 to 20 times I tried, and I thought this was just so darn hard, and then I realized it's because I'm lowering my descent, my attacks by so much, and, um, this, I think it's bait. I think, uh, this one here on the right, uh, you probably have had to spend maybe triple or more the amount of money I had on the game, um, probably gotta be a whale to take this route, honestly, but... 
I've, I've been finding my score has improved a lot more without taking this and actually just killing because the thing is with not taking this for the score boost, you're going to get the score boost out of damage given anyways. The more damage you do, the higher score you get and ultimately a higher rank, right? So this is going to do, in a sense, what this is already doing. Um, now, there are more enemies in this weaker to ice than fire. Um, unless you're hot based on your party because it's gonna be different for everybody not everyone's gonna have the same equipment and whatnot um, But if you're having more troubles with like the three soldiers that are weak to fire and uh, I think there's the, the two guys with Reno that are also weak to fire um, You might want this, but I'm gonna go with this I'm gonna say three I meant two guys with Reno All right about ether now over here i have changed the route up quite a bit i i found coming back to these bugs and killing them later is helpful but um but ultimately I, I i've been wanting to get rid of them right away recently because uh because if you wait they do more damage and the poison is no good and i didn't want to bring any asunas assuming that i can kill everything quick enough before having to be poisoned fogged or fatigued so we're going to try to DPS these guys as quick as possible, otherwise they're going to become a real problem later on. Uh, more, more so of a problem than other things would be if you waited for them. So these guys I'm actually going to get into this stance here. Uh, switch to defense mode, you get a little more heal out of the, uh, <clears throat> out of the regen. Um, she, she can night bloom this bug. And Lucio, I don't know why she hasn't done this yet. She should have dug diving bursted him a bit ago. Because this guy is affected by all the debuffs. You can get another Blizzard blow in, and I'm surprised Sephiroth didn't just launch this on his own. Um, he should be dead right here. Now that's a big hit, 35,905. Something else I noticed with my highest score, as opposed to the previous one I beat, is I think I had a critical hit with Sephiroth in that, in that one, where someone was debuffed, and Sephiroth was buffed. Um, the opponent was debuffed by Magic Defense and Physical Defense. Uh, from Aerith Nightbloom, and <clears throat> Lucia's new gun is absolutely amazing. It lowers ice defense by quite a, a bit. Uh, and just to show what that is, oh yeah, yeah. Now here, you don't want to lower the physical attack once again. I've tried this, um, it's fine, but I've actually been finding going this route is fine, because you, you only have to use fire a, a couple times. So it's not too bad. But uh, like I was saying here, uh, Lucia, her gun, oh my gosh. The Bald Eagle. I don't know why I forgot that. But uh, it, don't worry about mine. Like if you can't get it as high as this, I don't blame you. Uh, like even if you just have a one base not over boosted, it's still going to be great. Still going to do a lot of damage with crit percentage. And the ice resistance is just that it, that it provides. Or, uh, ice resistance decreased, I, I mean. Uh, amazing. Like, mine's high, but don't worry about that. If you can get yours, uh, just at all, like, low, mid, that's even fine, too. Um, if you don't have this, or, uh, Lucia, you could use an ice breach that, uh, you can get in the Crisis Dungeon shop with Crisis Coins from doing the Crisis Dungeons. So, you could get that, and it will help. It does stack with, um, Magic Defense Down from Aerith, or... A few other people there, uh, but let's see here. I, w I walked back on purpose there to get into this fight. Um, we're gonna get a kill these guys and get a heal in here so that you don't have to use any potions or anything. So I'm gonna start with this dog because they actually do quite a bit of dam damage. Uh, I didn't realize I was in auto that whole time, but that's fine. I pretty well played how I wanted to anyway. Uh, now over here, we're gonna go here. You definitely want to be playing in um, manual or or semi, or at least semi. And I'm glad I realized that now, because uh, matters more in these fights coming up, especially. All right, let's see here. I was wondering why Air, uh, Sephiroth was doing an aerial frost blade when I was trying to get him to. To a fire breach. Well, hey, so here's the Bahamas. I like to save Bahamas. I'd like to come down here, kill these ice guys. Um, and the order that 
So there's these ice soldiers right here, right? But the order uh, be between fighting either these guys right here, um, or there's some loose guys over here on the bridge a little further in, depends on how much health you have right here. Because if you have a little bit less, like I do, I'm losing some health and I don't want to use any potions. I'm going to go fight these guys because I can, I can kill them and get a heal in. for And also my limit break up a little bit for the next battle. But if this is full, I would say just kill the ice guys first. And then come kill these guys and then go back to Bahamut. But uh, I'm going to go into here. And the order of this little thing. And even the other little guys on the bridge up above by the poison bugs. Uh, though... You can wait to fight them if you wanted to, too. Just wait for an opportunity to heal. Of course, they're all going to get stronger as you wait to, or as you kill more bosses. But <clears throat> those are good opportunities to get some heals in. Uh, like, I'm going to switch here. Get a Kiraga in. Look, Lucy was taking some damage there. Darn. Alright. Uh... Do a little dance with the defense to offense modes. Hopefully they don't kill him before I get a heal in here. I just want Lucita max health. And now let's switch to offense and get some hits in before they attack. Oh, he's attacking. Oh, we got him. We got him just in time. Okay. These guys, like, aren't much, but you don't want to be losing health to these guys. And like I said, the more bosses you kill um, without having... Uh, without having these guys beaten. These guys are going to be a little more tough, and they might do some unwanted damage uh, before going into the next fight. So, I do prefer taking them out a little earlier on. Um, but in between these first few fights, if you got to heal, just do what I did. Uh, now I'm at max health for what they can be. Obviously, they've got the minus 9, 11, and 7 here. That's bound to happen. I think I've been to this point here uh, with, like, minus 1, mi minus 2, minus 1 kind of thing. Uh, which is more like what you want to be at, uh, if at all. But... Alright, so now I usually, I came in here with Sephiroth's Prototype Blade, the one that does a Fairaga all, uh, and I put that blade on Aerith's substat to give her more fire instead, and I'm, I'm trying the Frenzied Stance with Sephiroth this time around, which I was not using on previous Good. runs, because um, I'm trying to maximize my damage. I think I was trying to say this earlier, but I did a critical hit with Sephiroth, and then, then I started talking with the debuffs. And I hit almost 70,000 one of the bosses, which is the most damage I've ever seen myself do, and it was in here. And that was on the run that I got the highest score. I think it was also a critical hit. So, <clears throat> so that being said, damage done increases your score by a lot. Uh, I'm going to save my queen shot. I think um, I might not need it on this fight. It, will, it would recharge a bit for the next fight, but that's okay. Or I should have used my queen shot and then that to give the multiplier the, the plume, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, let's see here. Are these guys even... Oh, let's get... I was just curious how much damage that would do. Um... Oh man, she missed the, uh, the blow because of that. Fire breach, nice. Let's push up. Aerith, she's my big fire, uh, dealer here. My fire dealer. Uh, I should have switched to defense a little quicker there, but it is what it is. Uh, let's dance a little bit, because if you go in here, they're going to attack a little bit more. And then I'm going to heal. Oh, well, it would have been nice if I could have got that heal in right at the end there, but it happens. Um, maybe if I wasn't playing in fast forward mode, which I always do, uh, I could have got that heal in. Um, so if you want to play it safe, definitely do you don't have to do fast forward. I know it's nice and time is sensitive for people, but... Let's see here. Okay. Uh, now let's see here. Now you don't really need the healing potential at all, ever. Uh, if you're using Aerith or any other healer, it should be good enough. Physical defense, that's good. Score boost, though, you want. And I don't think they're going to kill me at any point. So I'm going to go with the score boost here. And physical and magic defense down. And we're going to go up. Now we're going to have to go into this fight here. Again, I'm trying an item item with Dragon Rat Run. Um, which is what I did to get to the score that put me in like the top 25 here. It put me in the top 20 last night, but I moved down to 22nd. Um, let's see. Okay, there's the Alright, um, I do want to be in heal 
Okay. Let's get a heal in. And you want to kill these little crabs first. Because you don't want the extra damage being done. Uh, so. Yeah, let's get a queen shot in on this little crab here. I don't want to launch the whiteout along with it. Oh, and it stops his attack. When the boss goes to attack you, and if you go, if you use a limit break, you're gonna, they're not gonna do any damage. They're gonna do their action, and then it takes them a few moments to go do that action again. So that was totally worth it, and totally unintentional as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this now, and I know, I know there's no limit break stack or stack uh, multiplier or anything like that, but. Uh, it stops an attack with it. This is going to allow it to recharge for hopefully the next fight or later on in this fight because Bahamut is beefy and has a lot of uh, HP and defense. Really tank. And you definitely don't want to die. So this guy is going to come up with a big hit soon. I'm going to heal in defense mode because you get more health in defense. Switch to attack. Maybe get one or two hits from the people and then switch back to defense before this launches off because you don't want to die from the body slam. And my defense is already lowered from the, the multiplayer I got. Alright. They're alive. We're going to get another heal in as soon as we possibly can and then switch to attack mode. Alright, now we switch to attack. She doesn't really need um, her diving burst here. Okay, now here, Bahamas uh, needs to get hit with circle sigils, but if you use Ruin Ra, the magic circle si sigil, uh, he will charge an attack flare, which will come back at you and hit you real damn hard. So, come on guys, attack him. So, let me see if I can get this in. Alright, that's good. Let's get Radiant Plume in. This might even kill him. I don't even have, um... <clears throat> Hellblaze, or whatever his next move is called. Uh... I forget. You don't really need it. But, uh, I think if you did have, uh, Shiva's Diamond Dust, like the next level up, and, uh, Ifrit's second level up, Summon, you would do a lot more damage and potentially hit your criticals. So if you're that far ahead, um, which I know there's people who aren't nearly as high level power level as I am, um, and put a bit less time into the game, that have that stuff, um, go for it. <clears throat> go for it. Alright. Definitely use both your summons to their fullest advantage. Uh, you can equip more than one summon in Christ's Dungeons, including this. So here, more score boost. You want to take advantage of all the score boosts that don't lower your attack. If you can get away with the score boost that lowers 25% of your attack from the bugs, the poison bugs, try it. I've tried it, um, and I, I died on the dragon, so it wasn't worth it um, that once. But uh, I think I could possibly have beaten it, but the score wouldn't have been worth it. Um, I have tried that route as well, um, just taking the bugs last and then getting your attack lowered for the final fight with the dragon, because you can dust the dragon pretty quick, he's not that tough, especially if you've got ice from Lucia or Sephiroth or both, or maybe someone else. Um, <clears throat> but lowering your attack to get that uh, extra score boost over there could be worth it. I have tried and succeeded by using a few, um, two blizzard tonics on Lucia and Sephiroth before going into that fight after lowering my attack to give them that blizzard boost and their attack kind of back up with the score boost however you're going to lose some score um from the <clears throat> using items and that didn't really balance out too well i don't think uh it was worth it I, again you can try it try it your scores are going to be different than mine um and everybody's equipment's different and whatnot so maybe something an idea like that could work for you now at this point if you look at the bosses that are left you have two options uh you can go south and east here to the dragon which is the easier more normal route uh or you can take the challenge and go across uh up northeast or wherever and uh fight reno and these guys these guys are tough reno does a lot of electric attacks and he's got a lot of darn health um and incap incapacitates if i said that right people so they can't they're basically stunned they can't do anything for uh quite a little bit of time and uh so when you fight, if you go to the Reno route, I'm not going to show that in this video here. Um, but if you decide to do these routes that I, I'm showing you or any route you want and you're going for Reno, uh, my best suggestion would be to try to get these guys, get rid of these guys first because, see, they bring attack up and magic up and they bring it way up, like four or five levels. And uh, then all these guys, in including Reno, are hitting super hard. So 
Um, if you're losing this fight uh, and you really want to get past it and you're thinking about trying to tank it instead of DPS it, which might be a smarter idea, um, Lightning Resistance is good. Like Barrett's War Machine gives physical attack and Lightning Resistance. Uh, there's a, um, <clears throat> I think, uh, I think Aerith's Wizard Staff might too. Um... Oh no, I think, I think that gives magic attack and either lightning resistance or magic attack and lightning potential. Um, I, think, I think it's lightning resistance, but I could be wrong. Uh, regardless, there's a bunch of weapons out there. Just go through your weapons. See, even look at the ones you don't have the second R ability unlocked. Uh, you can't search by that, but look through them all and see if there's any uh, lightning resistance and stuff like that. That could probably help with fighting Reno. You want maybe at least one of them on all your guys because you don't want any of your guys to die. If one of your three guys die, you're probably screwed unless he's in his last third of health and then you DPS him from there. Um, so here I'm going to try to beat this without using any items. Again, I know I lost a lot of health, but we're going to try to go in this as quick as possible. Like if I was to look at my items, I could totally have full health. I could use this tent and everyone would be full health uh, in two tents. Um, but the wrong thing there but i'm not going to you've got these cocktails you could take them out super quick maybe the extra damage could give me that stat boost i actually haven't tested that run yet and i probably should but for now i'm just going to try to beat it and get around the same maybe hopefully a little bit more score than i had in uh my winning run maybe i'll get a critical hit and get lucky now that's what i mean with the critical hits and getting lucky because if you had even if you used an item and took that loss of score for using an item Let's say I, I <clears throat> lowered their ice defense, the dragon's ice defense with Lucia's gun. I lowered their magic and physical defense with Aerith's night bloom. I frenzy stance my Sephiroth to bring him a uh, higher magic attack by three shots for me. Even two shots would be fine for anyone else. Um, or from one. Uh, and then I had a blizzard cocktail on him too when he goes in with his uh, aerial frost blade. And imagine hitting the critical hit. Now if I was able to hit 69 something thousand with this brief before um on a critical hit with this it's gonna hit even more and i think that high damage count might contribute a lot to your score and that might outweigh the detriment of points or the loss of points that you'd be taking from the item um that's something i may still have to test but uh anyways i'm gonna go item list because i've done it before it works and that's where i got my highest score so here we go All right, and uh, you you wanna you wanna pay you wanna pay attention. <laughs> uh, you don't wanna die. If anyone dies, it's not the end of the world. Especially if it's the last half of the fight, you can still you can still finish them off. And I don't think you got a huge loss in points or any loss in points from anyone dying. Uh, I'm not certain on that. Don't hold me to it. But I didn't see anything that holds you back. Um, you just wanna get as much damage in as you possibly can. Lucia should have used. Okay, she did use it. Good. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna use this and this right now because Aerith is gonna take too long to load, and Aerith is the fire anyways. I hope I hope Sephiroth was in frenzied stance because Sephiroth in frenzied stance would have done a lot more damage in here if, if he was. I probably should have paid attention to that too, and so should you if you're using Sephiroth. And he was. He got, he's got the magic attack too, so that's good. Um, look at that. I wasn't even paying attention to his health. He died so darn fast. Holy moly. Okay, I that that was good. That was good. Shiva must have hit hard there. Um, I was too busy uh, talking about what I was doing to actually see how much damage I did. Anyways, <clears throat> let's see my overall score. And any score, like, whatever I'm going to get here would will definitely put you in the top 50, I would think. Um, obviously, you may not have... Uh, the same equipment I have you, you, and you may not have it as upgraded as it is on my account because as mentioned I did spend a little bit of money um, on something I enjoy I think my high score is 1,370,000 something so I'm almost um, 80,000 off here but it's still a great score you're, you would you're still gonna get probably in top 50 within your pool of 100 at least by today's hour i think there's a couple more days of the event that could change uh some some people could be training up and doing it all on the last day so and um where your where your spot sits in the moment it is going to go down as, as people pass you because this event is ongoing and it's right up until last minute uh so anyways total battle score dungeon clear bonus you're going to get this if you win no matter what 
Uh, boss takedowns. I think you're gonna get a lot more boss takedown uh, killing Reno, but I'm not certain. Extra bonus, you get this from the Reno Road. I think it's about 80, 60 or 80,000. I think it's 80,000. And you get that from taking the Reno route. It's uh, he's a much harder route. Um, maybe I can tr I work my way up to that and try that too. I'm honestly not certain if I can beat it without using any items. Uh, but maybe even using items in the Reno route would still be a higher score than here. I'm not certain yet. Um, speed run, you're going to get that from doing fast stuff. And this score buff is from all those 10% that I was adding after, uh, and l after lowering my healing potential, lowering my magic and physical defenses, and, uh, <clears throat> lowering my, um, did I lower anything else? Oh, and lowering my, I lowered my fire damage for better ice damage. Anyways, you could have lost attack and whatnot if you did the, uh, bugs and or the, um, <clears throat> this bird at the beginning, the big fiery bird, fiery condor. Um, unused items, you're, I think that's got to be the maximum you can get for that 150 some thousand. And, uh, yeah. So, thanks. Um, anyways, yeah, feel free to comment anything you think I should do, anything you think I should uh, have done wrong. Um, comment anything you want, any ideas uh, at all, or if you just want to comment anything that's cool <laughs> hit that like button if you want subscribe and uh go follow me on twitch i go live whenever i want <laughs> which is sometimes often and sometimes like once every week or two but just depends on how i feel anyways yeah <clears throat> twitch youtube subscribe follow like love y'all final fantasy is awesome final fantasy ever crisis is awesome final fantasy 7 ever crisis is awesome Thanks, guys.